It's a nice little margarita there. I'm not gonna need this probably, but a little water and some nice house-made ranch. Yo, join me, you guys. So as you can tell, I'm in a hotel again. You guys are probably very confused as to why this is a thing. I'll let you know, I'll tell you. I am gonna use this, as a matter of fact. We shall go full, full mob ties, do you think? With the whole Italian theme here, with the margarita pizza. Should we do mob ties? I don't know. I'm thinking no. Seems unnecessary. Also don't need the cutlery, probably. This ranch looks fire. I definitely don't need the flowers, but nice touch. Mmm, let's get to a pie guy. So, yeah. This is like a true ass pizza, you know? Wood fired. Mm. Is it tacky that I got ranch? It looks like really good ranch, like like a garden vegetable ranch. Mm. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see really the food itself, but just know that it looks good and tastes good. So I've been in a hotel. I was in a hotel in the other video. This is a different hotel. Because my living situation was supposed to go a certain way. The person uh, responsible for the original situation is now not honoring that. So we find ourselves in a strange predicament in this life right now. Basically, I just took it upon myself to get out of that situation for a few days. Tomorrow, I go pack my stuff. And I'm actually flying home to where I'm originally from. So technically, I'm homeless. But I'm flying to where I'm originally from. And I'm going to go just chill there for like, I don't know, maybe a month. Visit my family. Hang out with my sister and my dad. All that stuff. And then from there, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to live in Toronto anymore. It's crazy expensive. I've lived here for 10 years. I've pretty much done it all that it has to offer. I'm still gonna hold on to like my, my Blue Jays job and stuff. Just arrange it so. So that it's just like, maybe I'll be back next year kind of thing. But basically I'm free floating free bird. And part of me is, it's like, it's weird to think, like, of leaving Toronto. As I have really grown to love it here, and, you know, I've established a lot of, a lot of great friends and stuff like that. But at the same time, this might be the universe just being like, Forcing me, forcing my hand into something that 
something else different, a new crazy adventure. Which I think I'm going to do instead. I want to go on a whole new wild adventure. I have a chunk of money that I can survive off for a while. But the, the goal would be go somewhere crazy, but like cheap type, type thing. get my own spot and just really do YouTube full time like really grind like just on everything on all the different areas of it and not be tied down or attached to anything and then get my YouTube to the point where I I can literally live like an on-the-go lifestyle. Travel places, eat crazy food. That whole free internet entrepreneur life feels cl feels close. Cause living in Toronto is like, if I could travel for cheaper than I live, like the city is crazy expensive. He like, for a shitty bachelor apartment here, it's like two grand. So, I'm at crossroads. But I'm okay with it. Hotel makes a good pizza too. Very, very good. I love fresh basil on pizza. I'm full of a couple of slices left, but I can't do it. So that's it. That's my life update for you guys. Short little video. But I just had to, uh, had to let you know what's going on while I'm in these hotels. But yeah, curveballs, life curveballs. It's all gravy though. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.